of the Delta II rocket carrying the spirit from Earth to planet Mars. In a year that will always be remembered for the Columbia disaster, the space agency has launched the first half of the most ambitious Mars mission ever. The first of a pair of twin Mars rovers blasted off from the Cape this afternoon. Space specialist Dan Bello is there live with more on NASA's success and the mission to come. Dan? Jim, uh, NASA's not only recovered from the Columbia disaster, but also from the loss of its last Mars landing craft in 1999. With weather delays the past couple days, the launch was a challenge, but landing will be the hard part. RCO. Ready. FISCO. Ready. ATC2. Ready. ATC2. This afternoon, there was precisely one second during which Earth and Mars were perfectly lined up for the launch. 2,300-pound spacecraft on the top and a TV camera on the side pointing down. The Delta II got underway on its third launch try in three days. From the rocket camera, you can see streets, the Cape's runway, and the Indian River Lagoon. From the ground, NASA's team members could see more than the rocket in its long trail. They could see Triumph. As the nine-booster rocket pulled away, they thought about the 300-million-mile journey ahead. And it's got to do the hardest thing there is, which is land on our old planet. 
The spacecraft will cruise for seven months and then many things must go right. 50 pyrotechnic devices must fire in precise sequence. A parachute deploys and then braking rockets fire. The spacecraft free falls the last 20 yards and might bounce half a mile. And only then do you get to do the science that got you excited about in the first place. A rover about the size of a kitchen table will be able to look for signs of life using its built-in grinding tool and microscope. It also has cameras that promise to deliver stunningly crisp 3D images. On the rocket camera, the watery blue Earth receded. Desolate red Mars is ahead. On second thought, the hardest part of all? It's next seven months. The next seven months will represent a lot of waiting for scientists, and the rover's twin is almost ready for a launch of its own. That launch is set for June 25th. Both rovers should land on Mars in January. We're live at the Cape. Dan Billow, News Channel 2. A Volusia County man who's second. Mars is on its way to the Red Planet. Just before 2 this afternoon, a Delta II rocket blasted off from Cape Canaveral. It's carrying the first of two rovers bound for Mars. The second one lifts off later this month. It'll take each about seven months to get to Mars. Then both will have to survive risky landings on opposite ends of the planet. NASA lost two Mars rovers in 1999. This time, the rovers will deploy eggs to cushion their landings. If they land safely, the rovers will search for evidence of water and life on Mars. A two